Hi, my name is Pallavi Prasad and here's what's newsworthy. India recorded a little over 60,000 fresh cases yesterday, the lowest rise in daily COVID infections in over a month. The nationwide tally has reached 66.8 lakh cases. The state to keep an eye on is West Bengal. While most of India's worst hit states have witnessed a decline in fresh infections, West Bengal continues to see a rise. The WHO recently estimated that 1 in 10 people in the world likely have already been infected. If that's true, then the actual tally of COVID cases in the world could be 760 million. That's 20 times higher than what the WHO and John Hopkins have recorded till date. But this isn't entirely surprising. Experts have been telling us for a while now that the number of confirmed cases greatly underestimates the spread of the pandemic. In fact, the first Cero survey conducted by the ICMR said that India possibly had 6.4 million COVID-19 infections as early as May. It's October and we've officially recorded 6.6 million cases till now. The Cero survey also said that 82 to 130 infections are likely to be undetected for every single confirmed case. And yet the finance ministry, not the health ministry, the finance ministry recently said that India may have crossed its coronavirus peak in the month of September. What peak when the real curve could be and most likely is entirely different. As far as vaccines go, Harsh, uh, Harshwardhan, the health minister, recently said that the center expects to receive and utilize 400 to 500 million doses, covering approximately 20 to 25 crore people by July 2021. This means that by mid-2021, only one in five Indians would possibly be vaccinated should we find a COVID-19 vaccine. We know that the first doses will be given to healthcare workers such as doctors, nurses, ASHA workers, paramedics, sanitation staff, surveillance officers, people in, involved in tracing and testing. We also know that the vaccine procurement will be done centrally because state governments have been asked not to enter into any deals with manufacturers directly. The WHO's chief scientist, Soumya Swaminathan, has estimated that it will take another two years um, until 2022, for 70% of the world's population to get a dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. 70%. That's the critical mass we need to stop the spread of the pandemic. That's all I have for today. If you've been listening, thank you for your time. Stay safe and wear a mask.